Okay, guys, this is going to be my review of Paul Thomas Anderson's The Master. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. I, I think it's such a... Char- it's a really character-based film. And Joaquin Phoenix as kind of our main character. He does a great job. Well, I don't think it's a better performance than Joker or Gladiator. It's still a great, another great performance by him. And just the whole cast is just... The performances are great. But then it's also just... You know, this film is kind of just about the individual scenes. And this film is kind of about these kind of collections of moments that come together that are so magnificent, that are so great. Um, you know, whether the, just the scene on the boat where, where our, you know, the two characters are talking, where Joaquin Phoenix is kind of opening up about his relationship and about his struggles. And it's just those, those, these individual scenes. They're just two characters talking. But it's just so acted, directed, and written so well. See, when the big three are done, I consider the big three of scenes, acting, directing, and writing. When all three of them are acting at their their pinnacle, that's when the film is at its best, you know? When you, when you can get these great performances out of the, the talent, saying lines of dialogue that make sense, that are intricate, that are interesting, and, and obviously directed well. And I think this film has that. Where you just see these, these kind of just these actors just talk. And, and with these, these, this interesting story about, you know, a man's journey through a cult. Because at, at the end of the day, this movie is, is kind of what this kind of philosophical discussion of what happens when you take a troubled man into a group that that has similar views to him but he can almost see that this is wrong and and kind of this you you kind of the way i look at it is that joaquin phoenix in this movie is kind of your jumping off point where you see it through his eyes but there's so much more than just his character where you start when you start to you know you know, learn about, I forgot what the, the cult was called, but um, when you start to learn a lot about, um, was it the, uh, wasn't the future, was it? Might be. But when you start to learn about this cult and learn about their kind of ways of like, you know, psychology and all that stuff, it's just interesting to kind of see, you know, this interesting world and it's just interesting characters, interesting philosophy, and interesting discussions. And just, the individual scenes are, so interesting, and it's hard to grasp and hard to really put into words because it's not like there's like this big overarching story. It's not about saving the world. It's just about characters who are struggling, talking, you know, talking, talking, talking. But it's never felt too long. Never felt boring because of the again, like I said, the performances, the dialogue, or even when you're talking about you know the person trying to you know who's you know doesn't believe in. The, the views and doesn't believe in this cult's ways. And that whole scene where it's like the cult leader is like saying, what we're doing is better than science. And the argument of what is science? What does that mean? It's just, I don't know. I, th- I found it very interesting. And, you know, I think while there's no really characters that I find likable, that, that, that can be a problem, is that because it's about this cult that is, you know, strange and weird. And, uh, you know, it, it's hard to find characters that are likable because at the same time, it's like, our main character, you know, Walking Phoenix, is not a likable character. He's, but at the same time, it's like none of these characters are likable. But I don't think that's the point. It's not about, you know, characters that are likable. It's just telling a story with characters. And, and even though I may not like these characters in terms of relatability and in terms of I want to root for these characters, I enjoy these characters because they're, you know, mul- you know they have multiple dimensions to them. They're not two-dimensional. They have so many different elements to them. And so, overall, I really liked it. Um, I think there's so many great, you know, star-studded cast, so many great performances, such an interesting concept. I I love kind of the mythology and world-building, because that's the thing. When I mean world-building, I don't mean world-building as in build the universe, but I mean just build world-build within the cult, you know? And that was interesting. So, overall, really did enjoy it. Stay tuned for your videos coming at you.